We just made three easy leather projects using three different tools, our Cricut, our X-Tool, and the Glowforge. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting into a little bit of the leather working. Leather working light. We've been wanting to do a leather project for a while now, but I didn't really have any great ideas. So some folks from Silver Creek Leather reached out and sent us a box of like leather samples here. So we've come up with three projects. Using three different tools, our Cricut, our X-Tool, and the Glowforge. Now, Silver Creek Leather is a supplier to all the craft stores. They supply real leather, and that's the leather that you see in Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. So what we make today, you'll be able to make from the leather you can get at your local craft store. Project number one, tiny backpack. <laughs> Dora. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a little AirPod case. Everybody has a set of AirPods or something close to these, these little wireless earbuds. And so we thought this would be a great little project to test out the leather, make a little no-so AirPod case. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some leather. Our real leather, our Silver Creek leather. We're gonna use some rivets. We're gonna use a little stud post. Studs. And uh, you don't need your AirPods, but we have them to put back in, put in our case at the end. Oh, and the Cricut. Yes, this one, we're gonna cut our leather with our Cricut. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're just gonna load up the Cricut. For this one, you'll need to use your strong grip mat and place your leather face down so that the non-grainy side gets good adhesion to the mat. Now doing it face down will also save the mat because the back side will leave a lot of that lint. Leather residue. That leather lint. And your mat won't last as long. And then for this leather, we'll be using the two to four ounce leather and we'll need to change to our deep cut blade. Three. Time to assemble. We got our little leather pieces all cut out, all three little leather pieces. Now we're just gonna fold this raw hide up fold and it hit up. it with a stud. Hold it up. Before you do that, we're gonna do the little backpack handle on oh, the back. putting the backpack handle on. It's not really a backpack, it's not two straps, it's just a one strapper here. So one strapper? Yeah. Hold on, can you help on my, yeah. my beautiful nails? <laughs> Let me get this through here. Yes, and then I just need to put this on. You just fold the little loop in the back. You're gonna add your little, the top of your rivet on top. And then you're gonna place this right on there. Uh-oh. Like. Yep, it's on there. Perfect. Might have went a little deep. No, careful, don't crush the front. All right. All right, now he's got his little strap on the back. And then this part is super simple. You're just gonna fold up the bottom, and the, well, actually I'm gonna do the sides first. Fold the sides in, fold the front in, and we're gonna add Put the little this, post on the back. This little screw post. Yeah, you wanna do it one at a time? Yeah, maybe easier to find. Easier. It's like a baby diaper. <laughs> it is like a baby diaper. <laughs> Uh, get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. It's got a little nub there. Can you get it? Can you do it? Can you do it? No. Not with those nails. <laughs> a little bougie right now. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me help <laughs> okay, you out there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be a crafter with all this. Yeah, I don't know. You just play one on TV. Oh, is that it? That's it. All right, let's put it in a little backpack. I don't know if those straps will fit around my shoulders, though. Ah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that, that little cute? guy. He's a cute little guy. He's like a little baby Yoda sack. I'll just put that on. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> 
Step four, and now we add the accents. It's actually project number two, Dingle Dangles. We're going to make a wristlet. So a wristlet can be used as a keychain, can hold your tiny backpack, can be a, an accent for your purse. Could be a whip. So we're going to use... Chaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for this project, we're gonna use the X-Tool D1 10 watt laser. We're gonna do a cut and engrave. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. Well, we needed leather. Now you can use any leather, but we're gonna use veg tan. It's kind of looks raw. Yeah, because I found these markers, these real leather leather markers, and we're going to give this a pop. Yeah, we're gonna color our leather using these markers. We're also gonna use this key ring, this swivel hook, some jump rings, and some rivets. And the X-Tool D1 laser. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna take the leather over, throw it underneath the X-Tool, do some engraving, and then cut it out. We masked off our veg tan so we wouldn't get that char or burn on the top side. Then I used 100% power, 10 millimeters per second, one pass. Step three. Now we're gonna tan some hides. <laughs> we're actually just gonna color in our flowers. <laughs> Step four, time to assemble it. We're just gonna use some of these little rivets and just kind of pair them up, right? Yes, we're gonna, stack, we're gonna stack these flowers, the yellow, the pink, and the green. We're gonna assemble these front to back. See that, so that they're pink on each side. Okay. Oh, look at these cute flowers. So you're gonna put the top in there. Yeah. Because this is gonna snap like this. You're gonna mm -hmm. tuck this in here, but you're also gonna tuck a keychain in there. Look at there. Look See? That. How do we put all these on with the, these things? Now we're gonna add our charms to our little key ring here. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Step four, and now we have the accents. We're just gonna clip this one onto this one. We're gonna attach it to our tiny backpack. He's on. All right, there we are. <laughs> Project number three, chaps. Nope. He wanted chaps, but they didn't send us enough leather for chaps. I will accept hat tag. <laughs> <laughs> that was what the real project is gonna be. A cute customizable hot hat tag. Hot hat tags. They are, they're so hot right now that I thought this would be a great project for us to try with this leather. It's genuine leather. It's genuine leather. We're gonna use the Glowforge on this one. We're gonna do a cut and engrave and use one of their new tools in the Glowforge app. So holes. So holes. So holes. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. I needed a hat and some leather, since this is a hat and leather project. And we're gonna sew it, so we're gonna use this waxed thread by Real Leather. And this big needle. And because I got petite hands, I need a thimble <laughs> and some vice grips to pull that through. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna throw the leather in the glow forge. We're gonna give it an engrave and cut, and even cut out our sole holes. For materials, we'll select thick natural leather, and we'll do HD engrave. I'll draw two boxes around this logo. Now I'm gonna select one of these boxes and go to patterned lines over on the right-hand side. Then I'll select stitching holes. I'll adjust the spacing and print. It's just that easy. Time to assemble it. We're just gonna sew it all up with this giant needle and this wax thread. Yes, the wax thread has four threads in there. I'm pulling it apart and only using two threads for our sewing. Two threads. So I pulled him off a piece and we're ready to go. I'm ready to sew. 
First, I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on the back, kind of hold it in place while I get it going. Yes. You do the alignment. The great thing about this, about these hats is that they have this nice seam right in the middle and it makes it easy to line up. You hold it for me. Oh, okay. And I will. What'd you guys think? <laughs> I told you they're all pretty easy, right? They're all super easy. I think sewing was actually the hardest one, trying to poke through this uh, backer piece. Yeah, I think the backer on this hat's pretty stiff. Yeah, but otherwise, they were all pretty easy. Yeah, I love the colors in this keychain. I didn't even know they offered markers for leather. That was pretty cool, so I thought I would show you guys what you could do. This little wristlet and keychain is adorable. And my little, little backpack is also adorable. The little, <laughs> the little AirPod case came with its own little wristlet strap. So we attached that. I think that was super cute. We sure got it. And I love the patch on this hat. I love that we can customize this and make it anything you want. So I think if you want to offer something like this in your store, um, being able to customize these patches with something like the X-Tool or the Glowforge, yeah. I think it's well, great. Well, the Glowforge is nice because of the new feature of yes. making the sew holes. Yes, yes, yes. So easy with the sew holes. Right, all we had to do was click the button and they were there. You yeah. didn't have to line them up or figure it out, spacing or anything. Yeah, that was nice. I love them, so cute. Yeah. So these were fun, fun leather projects. Let me put this jam on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. Thank you so much. And did you know that we are full-time content creators? If you enjoy our content and you want to see more of it, you can join us over on Patreon. Garrett puts up all kinds of fun stuff every week. He adds SVGs. Sometimes it's outtake videos. We have limited merch releases. Every week's an after show. Every week there's an after show. And then monthly we do Zoom calls live with our top tier patrons. So join us over on Patreon for a little extra fun. Yeah, I have nothing to balance. It's all floppy. Oh, yeah. Well, here, you can balance. I don't know what you can balance. Balance my hat. <laughs> Do hat tricks. Oh. Ooh, let me see if I can put my hat on backwards. Ready? Yeah, I can do it both ways. 